Hello guys and welcome back to Retron channel on YouTube. So today I would like to share my very sad story of me and my Droney right here. So this one I call it my, I, I name it Droney and it's a brand name from DJI. So this is a DJI Mavic Mini, Mavic, Mavic Mini 1. It's like uh, out since uh, 2020 and I own it right there, right back then in uh, 2020. So till now it's 2023, so like almost uh, four years already. So today I faced a very sad issue with it when I was doing the control flight. Uh, this drone actually uh, staying in the mid-flight and then I accidentally uh, activate the shut off uh, control that put the drone myself into an, a, a complete shut off mode and fall off from the sky so uh, in the result you can see that I have broke the uh, right the right motor arm it's, it's broke and even these uh, the leg right here the leg right here also broke as well see you, you can see the crack right there it's, it's already completely broke and yes that is a very serious one this this side is a very serious one and also i have some uh broke up in this uh camera section like uh, right here as well the gimbal so the gimbal when i started it start to have making some little sound it's not working properly but we still can control it and i'm sure this is just a uh what do i say just the outside the the just the frame broken but the inside might probably still intact, so nothing at all causing any problem. I still can control it. So uh, let me guide you through why am I getting in such a situation like that. So I was aware of that. Uh, at first, I thought that there might be something wrong with the drone that it, it, it automatically shut, shut off and dropped from the sky. And also, I was so lucky that I was avoiding the road. I was actually first flying above the road, a very, very busy traffic. And then suddenly I, 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 I move the drone a little bit away and it hover above the hangar. Below is a car garage where actually people in, in, in their garage as well. But uh, I decided to hover it down a little bit. I decided to descend the drone down and then uh, let it hover for a few like a few minutes to take some uh, picture. So I took some picture as well. And then I was uh, thinking of maneuvering it backward a little bit and also uh, flying up a little bit as well. But sadly at that time i was aware that i am actually activate the emergency shut off uh performance that completely shut off the entire four motor of the drone and put it in a free drop mode so uh, this is a very sad and this is the result as i can show you a moment ago they got a crack right here right here and even the gimbal is a little bit uh sound a little bit weird when especially when it moves it's like sound like like something like that and but actually, it, it, it still can move the gimbal. The gimbal actually move. They can, can actually move up and down. And the stabilizer is a, uh, working pretty fine. I, I have tested already. It's it working fine. But I haven't yet flight tested this, this, uh, this, this four motor. So I will uh, spend some time testing the motor if it still works. And also, uh, if, if everything is still good, then I only just to fix all this crack. So this crack won't be any hard to fix. Just to make sure that if the, the crack is fixed, Next time, I, I, I have to be careful not to be cracking it again or else it completely toast. So, yes, the drone, this is the, the story of me. And also, just because this alone is not the only thing that caused the drone to drop. It's not me putting it into an emergency mode like that to shut off the drone and make it a free fall from a high. But it actually caused from the application as well. So you have to be careful with your drone, especially with your DJI app. Right there, when you get into your app, have you have to make sure that the configuration inside the phone, the info, inside the uh, uh, DJI app is actually correct. So now I'm trying to click on connect. I'm going to camera view. Okay. So now here's a very fun and tricky part where you can ac actually accidentally put the drone in such a situation the same as me. So you have to be careful and have to inspect it one by one. First of all, the only thing that you have to look into is the safety. So you have to click on this three dot up there. Okay. Click on that. And you go, you're seeing the word safety right here. Just scroll it down. Scroll it down until you see the word advanced system setting. So you go into advanced system setting and there you have the emergency propeller stop. So this is this is a very, very, uh, what do I say, a very, very tricky part where you can actually launch a drone forever or broke it forever or anything else. So you have to be careful with this. So here you, you can see what they say. They say move both controllers stick toward the bottom inner or outer com commerce simultaneously to stop the aircraft motor during the flight. So they actually, when you perform such a thing like that, you will put the aircraft, the main four rotor, in a complete shut off. So what it will do, it will perform a free fall from any height, from any height. So uh, this is this this have no prevention at all. If you have uh, your guide propeller guide or something like that, 
just to handle such a free fall it would be good but if you don't if you barely fly with nothing control at all nothing attached at all then you might end up like me having a crack on this so uh from my from my experience this one is falling off like uh around almost 10 meter from the uh the rooftop so it, it's fall into the roof of uh the hangar and broke little something like that if imagine if it is 100 meter above or more than that how would it be the entire drone might completely broken so you have to uh, inspect this very carefully also you have to make sure that it is not going to, it's not putting into any time like that you can see that emergency propeller stop at any time use with caution so at any time mean that at any time you're flying a drone if you perform such a thing you, you might probably intentionally perform this or you might accidentally perform something like this it will Im immediately shut up your drone and make it a free fall so all you have to do and to be very careful with that is to chain it you have to chain it and put into emergency only something like that so that once you have it put it in emergency just click on save for, for now this this setting could be saved only when the controller connect to the phone and connect to the drone so make sure you have changed it when you power on the drone power on your controller connect it to the phone and then you have to change it from any time to emergency if you have seen it that it is actually display emergency only then it, it, it is good to go you don't have to worry but if you see that it's set into any time then i suggest you to turn it into emergency only immediately or else you are might be intentionally put the drone down on a free fall or you might be accidentally the most scary thing is to accidentally put the drone into a complete motor shut off like that and make it a free fall a free fall is not a fun thing if you make it a free fall from just a few meter high that would be uh, i don't know probably a little uh problem but if you make it a free fall from more than 10 meter or like up to 100 meter it actually could hurt your feeling it actually could broke your drone or even or even injured someone below so this is a very very caution and i think uh dji should also make a customized thing that only put this into an emergency mode nobody ever want to buy a drone and want to put their drone in a complete shut up in midair so uh, i suggest that you go ahead and go through all the process within your app and also don't please don't put the drone in a complete shut up like me in the midair in a mid fly like that and stay away from a free fall free fall from a completely high altitude like that altitude like that is a very serious to you serious to the drone and serious to the people below this is you have to be aware of this so this is all i want to share so uh, thank you guys for watching hope this video could uh, wake you up from being uh, unaware of what actually have inside the setting of the drone and also learn more from the drone get yourself certified don't fly just like for fun this one is a is a not uh, it, it's actually uh how much it's a uh, 249 gram it's not yet a, a aircraft but you have to be certified to fly this as well you have to certify yourself to qualify enough to, to fly the drone and you also have to be be careful in your surrounding environment make sure that the zone you're flying is able to let you fly don't go against the law don't go against the regulation so thank you guys again for watching and stay safe bye for now